my sister Sasha, y'all. We are on our way to Lando. We're going to Volcano Bay. I know y'all have not seen my face in a minute because I've been busy with school, busy with life, because life has been life in, and of course, busy with this new bundle of joy. Look at this. I cannot believe it. I'm having a baby. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so I just finished my finals like Monday. And was it Monday? Yes, I have two finals Monday. I'm like, you know what? Since I cannot go out of you know, go outside the country, let me just do something, you know, nearby and safe. Um, and still celebrate and still, you know, enjoy this beautiful weather, this beautiful Florida weather. And oh my god, this guy's trying so <sighs> live it up oh, while sorry. I have you know the time and also the energy. Um, before this butt of joy come and appears on this earth, okay? She's a pretty this pretty is pretty. Liz, our personal driver. <laughs> <laughs> Not the personal driver. Yeah, personal driver. Hello. We just stopped to get some gas and I'm so excited. I have not been to Volcano Bay in like five years, I think. So I don't know if there's like renovations that has been done or anything like that where if it looks completely different. But anyways, we'll see once we get there. So see y'all when we get there, y'all.
How's it going? Hi. Good, how are you? I'm one of the servers out here. If y'all ever need How many of you guys? There's two of us out here today. Okay. It's gonna be me and Joe. You and Joe. You and Joe. Oh, Joe's over there. Your name is Xander. 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 Okay, thank you. This is so cute. So, yeah, we've been getting a lot of y'all. Well, a lot has been going on, of course. Um, just to give you guys a whole list, um, I am back into um, school. I am completing my nurse practitioner and going for my doctorate. And um, I am pregnant. I found out that I was pregnant um, <laughs> my first semester of being in school. Um, so that was really crazy um and a one of one of a kind experience i would say and since then i just been trying to gather some content um and record as much memories that i can but of course with my busy schedule <sighs> and being pregnant um there has been some struggle there but you know I'm trying my best to at least record as much as I can and enjoy the moment and be present at the same time. Um, so today, one of one of I would say memorable experience that I will experience today is the fact that we will be doing our maternity shoot um, today, and I'm excited. Um, at the same time, I'm kind of nervous because I am Type A when it comes to photo shoots or photos. Um, but I know that it will be a, a beautiful outcome. Um, hopefully I won't cry. So I'm going to be taking you guys with me to my maternity shoot, see the behind the scenes and, um, and I can record this and look back at this and just remember all the craziness that occurred in this journey and just, you know, be reminded that, you know, all this 
craziness that happened. There was a reason, there was a purpose. Um, so I am totally excited to bring you guys along. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is of course get my makeup done. So I got up early this morning, got my clothes ready, um, packed up my bag with all my beauty essentials just in case if I needed them and um, put them in the car because you know now I have to <laughs> do things in segments because I get tired and I get out of breath. Um, so that is done. Now we're going to go see um, my makeup artist who will be doing my makeup for my um for my photo shoot and this is my first time going to her because my act my usual makeup artist was not available it's sunday um and she's at church so i gotta respect that and i should be at church too <laughs> but um we're actually gonna go later on tonight Ooh. i made it this far praise god and yeah so we're gonna go you know, see our makeup artist and get our face snatched, hair is already snatched. Um, and then we're gonna go to the studio because that's where I will be doing my photo shoot. And I hope you guys enjoy this content. I surely will be looking back at this and just be like, wow, you know, this is a great opportunity to just look back go down memory lane of course and just be reminded how beautiful this experience is so yeah come along with me yeah so I did my makeup my makeup is completed this is the look I'm liking it you know I was going for more neutral but I saw her glam so this is what she came up with um, y'all, and I came here on a Sunday. <laughs> what I learned is that if you're trying to do your makeup on a Sunday or even photo shoots, they be charging more because it's a Sunday. I did not know that. I was like, really? <laughs> so, moving forward, um, child, we is not going to book on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i'm really liking the look i mean it's more than what i expected would be done but i did ask for glam since i'm doing three different looks um and then we are heading to the place the studio um well it's really close by so i don't really have to go right now and then um i'm just gonna set up and get myself ready so Let's go, y'all, to the next adventure. <laughs> this is the first look. You got to be taking pictures.
trying to keep these feelings to myself Now you're the one I'm thinking of My higher grandma I get love For gravity I'd rather stay up here We can get away from cheap speech feels on the night day Only one I hear is in the visions that we play Staring next to you So we are back at it, people. Yes, I just got home from my photo shoot, my maternity photo shoot, and it was very successful. I was nervous. Like I said, I'm type A when it comes to photo shoots and taking pictures. But anyways, um, our photographer was amazing. Definitely will link his um, social media information if you guys are interested. Um, I didn't even get the chance to really allow him to speak. <laughs> But he was just so focused on like instructing us with the poses and everything like that and also changing our background since we're doing um, our photo shoot in the studio. Um, I love the picture so far. So can't wait for him to send the proofs in for us to pick out pictures that we want to edit. I already know that it's going to be more than what the package stated that we can have because um, I just fell in love with majority of the pictures that he took we did different poses and everything um yeah like i said like it was a success um wow it's just so crazy that like i'm at the point now where i'm doing a maternity photo shoot like i just feel like yesterday i just found out that i was pregnant and now i'm doing this and in about a month um and some change the baby will be here and it's like oh everything is going by so fast but i know god is faithful and um he has equipped us with everything that we need to basically be great parents to this beautiful child um so we're just gonna just walk by faith and um lean on god's understanding and wisdom but thank you guys for tuning in um and coming along with us the parishes um on our behind the scene for our maternity photo shoot um i hope you guys probably was inspired um by some of the looks or some of the poses <laughs> i was just having a great time um or you know just inspired by the theme or whatever it may be um and if you already did a maternity photo shoot let me know down in the comment what did you like most about um your maternity photo shoot what type of looks that you did what was the theme that you did you know um information that you would like others to also feed off of or feel inspired do you see the disrespect this camera turned off on me again <laughs> Good morning, peeps. Today is May 6, 2023. And today is a big day. Why is it a big day? Okay, I'm gonna tell you why it's a big day. Well, because today is my baby's baby shower. This is 
going by so fast. This whole process is ridiculous. Like, ugh, I just want time to just stand still so I can just embrace every moment, every second. I just feel like it's just going by so fast. Like, I'm already at seven months. Oh my gosh, y'all. But, yeah. Alright, so I am done putting on my dress. So this is what I'm wearing. I'll show you in the mirror and finish wetting my hair and then we're gonna go get my makeup done um, I'll show you guys um, how this dress looks from here so this is how my dress looks and it has the little things on the side right here for a little bit of exaggeration And then I have to go get my makeup done. So let's go get our makeup done before we run more, more late to this baby shower. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> this is crazy. When oh, you thought I was going to take out my cell phone. <laughs> can she vlog? And this is what she pulls out. <laughs> you thought she was baby vlogging. Yeah. Right. I thought she was insta vlogging. Oh, this is full production. Do you have enough lights? Is yes, okay? I do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the skin glow too. Right, I mean. right. We've already illuminated you. Anybody can do it. And you guys went there for his birthday. Yeah, his birthday. And mm -hmm. it was my baby. Well, I call it baby moon too. Mm -hmm. Slash baby moon. Y'all gonna have an anniversary slash birthday party. Mm. What if she waits till the 25th? It'll be insane. <laughs> I'll speak to my husband. Are we going to celebrate her birthday or our anniversary? Will we be selfish? <laughs> You're celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. This is going to sting a little bit. Not mm. in a bad way, just for the smell. I thought she said sting. Well, yeah, because people don't like the way it smells, so they choke a little bit. Not sting, like pain. But How does that? How it's that? just not going to be pleasant. Yeah, it's just not pleasant. <laughs> I thought you said I was thinking you were going to say Ew. sting. You said sting. Yeah, sting. It doesn't stink. Man, I got no content. <laughs> we were just talking. Yeah, that was your We were busy talking. We can talk through the appointment. <laughs> we can do it after. You, you, you did it before. I, I did. Look at the ceiling. And we took care of it at this shop. Yeah, I've been trying to get here today. Girl, she already asked me yesterday. I have nothing. I said, maybe tonight. Especially before the dinner she's trying to go to. I literally got this like, I think I got 
this last year and I'm just using this this yoga mat. Oh my gosh, should change a plan. I went into the closet and I realized that my husband ate the rest of the snack bars. This is what you do with when you have a husband who will eat your snack bar, knowing that's like the main thing that you eat starting, you know, at the beginning of your day. But it's fine. So we're gonna have some cereal. <laughs> Instead, so I'm just gonna eat a little just a little bit one thing about me is that i get very nauseous when i'm hungry and i get very nauseous when i'm full all right you can never go wrong with lucky charms like this is what i ate when i was like little and i'm still like eating it it's so crazy i can't wait to share with my child one day so yes this is what i ate when i was A little Maddie. <laughs> so, my nurse at my um, OBGYN office basically was stating that, you know, pregnant ladies or pregnant women should um, at least take a 30 minute walk. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try to take 30 minute walk each day. I feel like I do that anyways because I walk my dog and I spend like about 15 minutes every day. I mean, every time I walk him. So it'll be like, how many times do I walk him? Like I walk him at least twice or not twice or two or three times a day. So um, I feel like I, I get my workout doing that, but I need to incorporate some, you know, some, some weights into my workout. I've done weights prior to being pregnant um you know i lived weights with my husband also lived weights by myself um it's just being pregnant just i don't know your body changes i don't know it just feels weird i i did really great for the first four months of pregnancy and then i just <laughs> kind of fell off um um i was in school and I was working full time. I'm currently not working. Thank God. That's why I'm doing this vlog because I have the time now to do this. Because uh, <laughs> um, prior to that, I was just so busy um, working, 
being a student, being a wife, being pregnant, and also making time for myself, um, you know, to feed into myself, um, pour into me. Um, and sometimes it's really a struggle to balance all that. And, you know, I don't know how these content creators do this, but more power to you. So I had to prioritize what was important to me. And therefore, you know, since I stopped working, I was like, okay, let me just, you know, do a vlog of what it looks like to, to live in my shoes. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, all my pregnant mamas out there, they, they, you know, feel like they're not alone. You are not alone. Okay. You hearing me? Hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I remember I posted this um, Instagram post just recently. And it was like, what are some things that you have learned throughout your pregnancy? And one of the things I've really learned is that it's okay to take a break, to relax. Um, and it's okay to not do as much. And I feel like that's what I've been adjusting with because I'm so used to just doing a lot. I just listed all the things I was doing, even I was pregnant and that's crazy and insane. Cause most people would be like, well, I'm just gonna sit home and just thug it out <laughs> this whole pregnancy. But it was so much that I had to accomplish. And it brings me to my second point that I've learned is the fact that just cause you're pregnant, doesn't mean you, you should stop living. Like you should still chase your aspirations and goals. Um, so I have so many things, so many goals that I wanna accomplish this year. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this pregnancy, you know, interfere with that. But at the same time, <laughs> I have to really have to change my perspective and be like, yeah, it's not gonna happen as quick as I want it to, but it's going to happen eventually. But at the same time, in between, I need to take a break I need to relax um, and slow my pace so those are two things I've learned um, being pregnant and oh there's more but I don't want to just throw a whole list of at you guys <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna be simple and plain today since they require that you wear business casual 
for class and that's what I'm going to do I'm wearing a simple white collared button down shirt with some black pants that are comfortable because that's the only thing that could fit me right now that's business casual um which is kind of upsetting in a way but I guess I understand why they want business casual a lot of graduate schools when you go on campus they want you to dress professionally because they want you to already act the parts hello and you're also representing them so I understand so I feel like this is really simple but it does the job and I'm comfortable so I don't know if I should like So this is what we are wearing. This is casual. These are high-waisted. Oh, these are really comfortable. I bought this long time ago before I was pregnant, y'all. shoes I'm going to be wearing. Look at the little heels. <laughs> all right, so I fixed my hair. My hair is all done. We really didn't do nothing to my face. Literally just moisturized it, put sunscreen, and call it a day. Um, about to take my prenatals. Uh, I can't forget that. My husband would definitely remind me if I did. Um, Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm saying that because it has like a fish aftertaste, which is kind of disgusting, but it does what it needs to do. Um, oh my gosh. I'm looking at this right here. This is like a, a mini devotion or a reminder to pray to God, whatever suits your your boat so i'm week 34. so this is for like all the pregnant moms who um want to incorporate you know god into this process of course um i would not have made it here this far without god this is a journey that i can't imagine doing by myself um and god is one of the biggest um factor in my support system and i really think this is cute my husband bought this for me where it tells you like, what exactly is happening to your baby at this stage like how big they are um what organs are being developed and stuff like that and it kind of incorporate you know god's word into it which i really think it's really cute so week 34 says by this week your baby's brain has fully developed with less than two months until gold time your baby weighs in at about five pounds and measure about 17.7 inches baby's lungs and central nervous system continue to develop and his or her skin is becoming soft and smooth and it incorporates a little prayer to it this is so cute lord jesus thank you for giving me this little one to grow and nurture please allow my baby's thoughts to be of your glory as his or her brain develops while he or she grows up and dreams of his or her future would you be the desire of their hearts give them the courage to pursue what they have set their heart so in mind on amen and it says search me god and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts see if there is any offensive ways in me and lead me in the way of everlasting psalm 139 verse 23 to 24. so there you go Whew. now we're gonna go downstairs print out our syllabus and get ready to go to class <laughs> oh, hey snowy 
And this is my office, y'all. It's kind of messy. Um, well, yeah, let's get to work, you guys. We have a lot to do, a lot to do. This is our syllabus. I'm gonna staple this. Um, gonna bring my agenda with me to class. Um, and she also said to bring our laptop, so I'm gonna get my laptop ready. Okay. Have our charger ready too. Gonna use my little tote bag. This is what I use to go to class. Oh my God. So we just made it to um, to the nursing building. Um, it is 12.59, class actually starts at one, which I'll give some time because people usually come late. I'm pretty sure they'll start like at 1.10. So that's why I'm like kind of chilling in the car a little bit. Um, I brought me some smart food popcorn. Um, if you are Caribbean, you know about these cookies. This is Goya. Maria cookies, these are so good. Just for some snacks and some oranges as well, if I get hungry. And I had time to also heat up my food. So I made some pasta with some lamb chops. So that's what we are going to kill. Um, so I'm going to head inside um, so I can figure out where this room is. I, mean, I don't think I've never been to this room. I don't remember. And then settle down, eat some food while people run late <laughs> it always happened this is like the first day of school like you have to expect that and i'm usually the one who's running late so i'm surprised i made it on time <laughs> um so yeah so i'll take you inside and see what else i can capture and we'll just go from there <laughs> So that's the end of my vlog. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Um, I just got back home and your girl is tired. So what I'm going to be doing is basically do more schoolwork after I take a nap because I'm tired, I'm exhausted. After like four to five hours in class, my brain cannot function anymore. <laughs> So I will see you guys later and uh, hopefully I'll do another everyday vlog. We'll see. Bye-bye. Oh, just want to add that if you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, and add in the comment what parts of this vlog that you really liked. Let me know. Um, you know, I'm out here trying to improve, get better. Um, but yeah, so Snow, can you say goodbye? Say goodbye, Snow. All right, that is his goodbye.